Fish on. Follow, oh, no, look. Got it. Yep. Perch. Nice perch. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, you have to apologise for any sort of traffic noise. We are right next to a road. Uh, and I am here today with, where is he? Mr. Bradley Hunt, he's back there. I've just twatted my rod on the floor. Uh, and today we've got an action-packed, fun-filled, who knows if we catch any fish kind of day. Uh, so we'll start off this morning, we're going for perch and chub, uh, mostly on top, top waters, uh, or at least uh, we're going to try to do that and then uh, see how it pans out. And then later on in the day, when the tides are right, we're going bass fishing. And uh, for me, that will all be about top waters this time of year. Um, and I think it could be a good day. I'm not going to you know, say anything for sure, but it looks like it could be a good day. So we've got here nice and early on the river, uh, try to beat all the paddle boarders and the canoeists and kayakers and everything else. And uh, see if we nick a few fish out of here. Then we're going to go, probably get some breakfast or a coffee, coffee most importantly, somewhere else. And then reconvene at the best spot a bit later on today. So I don't know if they'll be all, all in one video or maybe I'll make two videos out of it. It all depends on what we catch and how much content we get. So if it all goes to plan, there'll be two videos. So let's put it like that, or at least two. So we we'll get straight to it. Try and beat all these uh, other members of the public, river users, and uh, try and catch some fish. Fish on. And I'm, I was out on my boat in, in here two seasons ago, opening day. I was more, oh, look at that follow, look. Got it. Um, and, uh, oh, it's come off. It's deep, it's over the other side, it's very deep. It's like 16, 17 foot. So it almost, almost be worth putting the shed over there as well, you know. There's loads and loads of monster bream in this swim. Like doubles, like, like, and everyone's double. But like, you usually see them, I'm surprised you haven't seen them yet, you see them rolling over the back there. Yep. Nice, well done, mate. Weird. Yeah, it's very strange. Nah. I think you have actually, or it's a chub. It might be a chub. You have found its bream. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big bream as well. A hundred percent. In its dorsal. What a fighting with it. It was going like it was going around in circles, wasn't it? Oh no! No, it's look. No, it's there. You can see it. It fell out. It pinged. Not fair. It's there, look, you see it? Yeah. I don't know how to get that. Oh, it's good. <laughs> it's the gravel's too hard. 
to shuffle. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, I was entertaining for a minute. <laughs> I told you I was breathing to swim. <laughs> Just prove my point on it. It's almost like I know what I'm talking about sometimes. Yep. Perch. Nice, nice perch. Oh, the next, next tangle. It, it, it's a few of them there, I think. Might have a cast because I, 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 I had a follow before the cast before as well. I quite wanted that. That's gone. Yeah. Okay, well, apart from the pipe that I didn't get on camera earlier and the one I lost a little bit about five, ten minutes ago, it's been a bit quiet. But we have managed one of the target species, which is a perch, and it's quite a good one as well, especially for this river and on the top water. Look at that. Proper old gnarly one, super skinny, off spawning, huge head, scar marks all over it. It's, uh, it'll have a few towels to tell this one, I think, but um, we're gonna chuck it back and keep on moving. I think the, the, the game is gonna be sort of stick and move, just pinch a couple, move on, and try and bump into them, which is exactly what we did with this. Well, that was worth coming out for. So we uh, we had it in our minds, we wanted to catch, catch Chub and Perch. Uh, up to now, all we've seen and all we've been in contact with is pike. I, I had, I, well, I haven't probably documented this very well, but I had a pike earlier, about three or four pounds. Thought I had a great take on the GoPro. Once ago, again, the GoPro let me down and we also failed to fish, film the fish on the bank. So, didn't have that. I think I've got footage of a fish I lost about 10 minutes ago, um, which I'll go back and have a look at later. Um, and then that Perch just now. And that perch, we actually measured it quickly. It was 42 centimetres, which I'm 99.9% .9 sure will be my top water perch PB. So it is not even, what is it? It's, it's 6.45. So that's not a bad start to the day. Um, we're going to fish in here until the paddle boarders and kayakers and everything else make it impossible. Go and get some refreshments. Uh, and then this afternoon is all about salt water. So we'll be going bass fishing later. Um, swapping the lighter perch gear, picking up the slightly heavier bass gear, nothing too heavy, donning our waders, uh, crowbarring each of us into them, and then uh, going to get something, something salty instead. Um, crowbarring each of us into them, because mine are about two or three sizes too small. Oh, right, okay, so yeah, we definitely need the crowbar. <laughs> um, right, so uh, I'll leave, we'll leave it there. I'm going to carry on walking. I'll pick up the camera again if anything happens, and uh, hopefully we can bump into a couple more. Maybe a chub. A chub will be nice now, sort of round it off. Okay, a little bit of a change of scenery and a change of costume. I was really hot, so I took the trousers and the long sleeve off and put the shorts and the short sleeve on. Uh, we uh, take a little bit of a pit stop, really. We came into, into the town to get something to eat and some coffee uh, and use the amenities. But while we're here, we're going to chuck some lures and see what we bump into. Uh, we're not going to spend too long here. We're only really killing time before we start uh, the second portion of the day, which is going bass fishing. So uh, see if we can nick one or two fish here quickly and then on to round two proper. Oh, no, look, perch following it. Yep. Oh, it's not weed. There's another one with it. Oh, it's come off. <laughs> oh. I had that weed on the lure, it was just spinning. Oh, there was another one with it. They wanted to talk, well, I didn't know, I wasn't quick.
Oh, look at this little jack. <laughs> Oh, it's come off good. <laughs> I watched it. I stopped reeling and then saw the pike. I thought, ah, oh, go on then. I moved it another couple of real turns. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so we are hot, we are sweaty, we are probably burnt and bright red, but uh, that is the first half of the day done. Um, I don't think we actually landed anything here. Um, I had a perch on and off, a pike on and off, a big perch hit that I missed uh, and that's about it so I had some interest had some followers which kept it interested enough to keep going but I don't think I actually landed any fish um, right we're going to have a little bit of a pit stop and then the next half of our day we'll bass fishing but I think we've got enough for this to be a video all on its own so if you want to see what happens when we go bass fishing later today because at this current time I haven't got a clue how that's going to go there may not even be a video that comes out but if there is subscribe uh, and watch that video when it comes out so that should be soon after this one uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon Okay, well, we went bass fishing and we didn't catch anything, so you'll never see a video on that, so forget everything I said earlier. Um, what I did realise is actually, I didn't really do a very good job of explaining what we was doing today or how I was catching the fish, so I've quickly pulled over on the way home and quickly run you through very basically what I was doing. So I'm using my St. Croix Bass X, uh, which is a one eighth to half ounce, so I think that's like three and a half to 14 grams-ish. Uh, it's a fast action rod which is perfect for top waters. Uh, I've got about 12 to 14 pound braid. I don't know exactly, I forget what it is now. It's a favorite one, I think. Uh, and then a very, very light um, wire trace, just because, not because you need it for the perch and chub, because you're bound to bump into pike, which you did today, so it's good to have had it. Um, but I think the most important player of the day was uh, was this. And it's an Ilex top water bait. And I think it's called, I think it's called uh, Water, Moccasin, there's two, there's a water moccasin and a water monitor. I can never remember which one's which. I'll put a caption here somewhere because I forgot to look before I started filming. I can't remember to look now. Um, but yeah, this this particular bait in this particular colour caught all my fish today. Oh, in fact, it says it on the bottom here. What does it say? Water moccasin, there you go, water moccasin. Um, yeah, this particular bait caught everything today. Um, I, for perch especially I love a walking bait like a walk the dog style bait I think it's absolutely deadly chub love it as well I just don't think we really was in the area where the chub was they all it wasn't feeding um, but it worked I think you know it only caught me that one perch today but I had plenty of hits well actually I caught a pike as well which I thought wasn't on camera on the GoPro but was whatever um, but I had other hits and things so it, it was obviously um, it was obviously what did the job but yeah I just wanted to let you know stop and just run you through that and quickly how I was working it so Walk the dog style is, is quite something you have to practice. It's not something you just pick up and you'll get straight away. You have to work out the cadence of how you need to work the bait. It's all in the action of the rod, and you don't have to do much, but you have to do. You have to work the bait. You can't just sort of reel straight and expect to do it for you. You actually have to put the effort in and make the bait do what you want to do. Now, the reason I like it is just you can do it lots of different ways. You can do it really short, sharp taps and get a nice, quick, erratic motion or slow, sort of more exaggerated movement. You get that big S type swim on a, on a walk the dog style lure. So you can sort of tailor it for the scenario and how you think the fish are reacting. And even sometimes you can vary it up so you can start a retrieve quite quick and then slow it down. And if you've got a fish that might have been following, that change in cadence can incite a take. Um, I might be thinking into it too much, but you know, that is me. Uh, but yeah, Inex Water Moccasin uh, was the, bait, the killer bait today. I just want you to stop and uh, just say that before I round this video. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.